Yeah, what's wrong with the beer we got? I mean, the beer we got drank pretty good, don't it? Hello, and welcome to Your Beer Sucks. I'm John, and that's Mike, and that's Andrew. We're going to go drink some beer, we're going to talk about it, and then basically determine whether or not it sucks or doesn't suck. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Where are we going? Right here. Oh, okay. I was... Uh, oh, I, I thought gonna... there was a bathroom. There's not? No. Oh. There is off... I mean, I mean there is off camera, but that way? you guys can't see yeah. that. Oh. Should we put a camera in the bathroom? Maybe in later We can't seasons. all fit in there. Mm. Yeah, we can't. It's kind of small. It is I mean, like, cramped. if one of us goes in the shower and, like, kind of like... Yeah, because if I'm in the shower, I could poke my head up over there. What's beer number one? Beer number one is Terrapin Liquid Bliss Chocolate Peanut Butter Porter. And let me just say that uh, with that many fucking qualifiers, this is probably going to be awful. That's really? a busy fucking name. What is what does the air copy say? Focus on the harmonic togetherness of chocolate and peanut butter as it takes you to a place that you never thought possible. A liquid bliss. Oh. A liquid bliss. Liquid bliss is in quotes in the ad copy. It is in quotes, yes. So it could just be like total bullshit. But we'll see. I've had this beer before, but not in a bottle. I've had it on draft a couple of places, and I thought it was pretty good. Okay. However, that doesn't always translate. I'm just saying, busy name. But then again, it has short ad copy, so so it might be mediocre. The ratio, the ratio, <laughs> means it might, you know, it might be okay. Who knows? It kind of puts it back. Wow, I'm liking the nose. Might mm. more. Yeah, he probably needs a little bit more. It's hard to judge because his is shaped very differently from ours. Yeah, peanut butter, of course. Yeah. Well, yeah. Malty. Peanut butter is just like very malty. boom. Malty and there's and just the a, peanut butter. There's just a hint of au jus. I don't get the au jus. No. It smells a little salty. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. I think well, that's the jus? peanut butter. Yeah. But yeah, it's big malty, big peanut butter. It's chocolate too. I'm not smelling on the yeah. nose. But. Now this is, hold up, before I, before I say that, this is a porter, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tastes like a porter. Yeah, I was going to say, because like, Great this nose. is, yeah. Let's see if the beer holds up. Porter? Natural porter? and yeah. artificial yeah. flavors. Oh. Mm. Let's, let's see what's artificial. I'm sure a peanut butter is. Yeah, but just the peanut butter. That is a little watery. Yeah. It's thin bodied for. Very thin bodied. A, for a porter. For a porter, even. yeah. It's, I was, it's thin bodied for an amber. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Another light bodied porter. Yeah. Uh, um, what is with you guys making these light bodied porters? It's Get it a, together. Tastes like a porter. Doesn't taste bad. It's No. The it's finish not bad. is better than the palate, though. I yeah. agree. Yeah. <sighs> this is a beer that you will uh, have fond recollection of, more so than. <laughs> It's like I thought that beer was good, rather than, rather than enjoying it in the moment. I guess that beer was pretty good, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm not blown away by it, but I think it's good. I think it's drinkable. I think for what it's trying to be, it falls short. But as yeah. just as a beer, I don't think it's a bad beer. I don't think it's a bad beer at all. It's uh, perhaps a bit of a letdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely not a liquid bliss. No, it's not. It's not that good. It's not as good yeah. as the ad copy. Claims. No liquid bliss. No, mm. none of that. There's none of that. But it's certainly not bad. If if I was offered this at really any place, I I don't think I would turn this down, especially over the standard fare. Yeah, it's it's a liquid shrug and fuck it. And yeah, finish is way better than the beer. The palate isn't bad. It's just 
There's it's, not much happening. It's, it's lacking. It's very boring. It's very, yeah. The finish, the peanut butter starts coming out. The, On the finish. The palette just, reminds me a lot of the Sam Adams Imperial Stout. It's oh. just kind of like... Have we done that yet? No, we haven't done that on the show. I, I've had it before. Though. You've had it. Um, I was going to say I haven't it's, had it. It's, it's you know Sam Adams. It's painfully mediocre. It, it's the, Sam Adams. Yeah, this. I'm not really getting the chocolate at any point. Mm-mm. No, like you get you get the malts. It, peanut butter comes actually, in at the end. It's really funny how malty it smells. Yeah, and then it's so thin. Yeah, that's how do they do that? How do you get that much molten in then make it just be watery? Yeah, that was like that was really my first impression and, and I had to look back and make sure, hey, this is a porter. Because but, I think we've had haven't we done a couple of stouts on this show we've, with uh, we've with done, about we've done light bodied stouts, we've done light bodied porters. It seemed to be all the rage. I wonder if they're trying to make porters like refreshing. <sighs> Where it's like, well, I could just drink six of these. No, you all see, si- I can't. Sitting in one session, you know? I guess it's possible. I couldn't do that with that. It's not bad, but it's not It's not a quote-unquote sessionable porter. Not by any means. But then again, that's not what this is advertised to be. No, I, it's just trying to deconstruct what they're going for with such a light body. Yeah. But I don't I'm, know. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed, too. Yeah. I'm not sure whether I think it sucks. Because I... I don't think it sucks. I... It's hard to I say. think it's... I think it's good enough to drink. Yeah. Not good enough to buy. If somebody had it in their fridge, I wouldn't... I wouldn't even... Like... I'd be like, yeah, let's go. Yeah, I mean, I would just be like, okay, cool. Yeah. But I would not be enthusiastic about it. Yeah. I would be like, oh, yeah, awesome. I'd be, I'd be like, yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right. Go, go, go. Terrapin, Liquid Bliss. I'm going to say it doesn't suck. This may be this may be a split verdict decision, but I'm going to say it doesn't suck. I'm going to give it a very grudging doesn't suck. <clears throat> very grudging. It's borderline sucks. And just so it's on the record, I'm, I'm on the bubble too, but I don't want this beer to get by with a clean slate. No, it shouldn't. It sucks. Yeah. There we go. Beer number two. Yingling traditional lager. Born from a historic recipe, Yingling traditional lager is famous for its rich amber color, medium body flavor, and distinct. Distinct character. Stink character. I don't know about distinct now, character. Now, here's something I'm noticing. Even though it is an amberish beer, it's in one of these toxic green looking bottles. It's a toxic Avenger bottle. <laughs> the toxic Avenger bottle. Typo negative bottle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so off the bat, we don't have the we don't have the skunk smell. That's true. It, it will, uh, at the very least, it's not jumping out of the bottle at yeah. us. Yeah. Trying to cut our throats. It's there. It's just not jumping out of the bottle. Yeah. Woo. It's got a skunky nose. Wow, that's super carbonated just looking at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's clinging to the sides and even the bottom of the glass. Yeah. Oh. Back when yeah, I was. It's a, got a little bit. Oh. Back when I was a little boy. Uh, this was my go-to beer once I discovered that uh, it was definitely tastier than things like Budweiser. Oh, yeah. This is... I definitely but I'm prepared to be devastated because I haven't had any of this in a very long time. It smells like burnt plastic. Like the insulation around wiring. A little bit. It smells like weird Volkswagen smell number seven. Yeah, it does. I'm, I'm very accustomed to this smell. Because of working on my Volkswagen. And that's really all it smells like. Now they're saying this is medium bodied. It's not medium bodied. I'll tell that you is, that. That is water bodied. Yeah, this is sparkling water. You know, I think I may see why I thought this wasn't as bad as Budweiser. It really doesn't have any flavor. It has none. It tastes sort of like caramel food coloring. On the finish more for me. On I the mean, palate, almost nothing. Yeah. 
there is something of a finish there. Very, very carbonated for sure. It, it has a finish that's reminiscent of sparkling water. And Volkswagen Crayon. Volkswagen Crayon? Yeah, you know, most cars, the new car smell is this one weird distinctive thing, but Volkswagen smell like crayons. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, Volvos kind of have their own smell. I don't know if you've noticed that, actually. I've never been in a Volvo, I don't think. Really? You've never been in a Volvo? Mm-hmm. Didn't they go out of business? No, no. it was Saab, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah Saab. Saab. Saab's been out of business, I think, I think since like the late 2000s. This, well, GM bought them out, and they yeah. got, got even worse. Yeah. What's weird is that it smells like it should be sweet, and then it's not. Yeah, it's not very sweet. Is this, and this is, that's just a traditional lager. It's not saying anything fancy about it. I put down uh, my number of, uh, my fair share of black and tans back in the day, too. Yeah, made with this. <clears throat> I think the black and tan had more flavor than the lager. It does. Oh, oh. This Yingling black and tan. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I was thinking about the drink you mix with. No, no, the Yingling black and tan. Um. Yeah. See, my my um younger days go to beer was uh, Guinness Draft. Yeah. Which is a weird. No bodied stout. Weird, no bodied, <laughs> nitrogenated stout. Yeah. Look at us now. Yeah. All right. I have become too much of a snob for this beer. Definitely. And here's where here's yeah. where I have to make a point about this beer, and I'm I know I'm going to get shit for this, and I really don't care. I'm going to say that this beer doesn't suck, but there's a caveat here. There's a, there, there's Emptor? a door. There is. Unlike the two of you, I actually venture out and about, occasionally go to shows live, go out to drink with friends. And the thing is, oftentimes there's not a lot of good beer available, and you essentially have to make the best of a bad situation. I've been in those situations. You know what I do? Newcastle's a lot I don't get this. beer. You can find Newcastle almost anywhere, and it's better than You this think beer. Newcastle is better than this? Oh, yeah. We'll have to judge it's that down. later. But... That being said, in terms of cheap beer, I would argue that this is a cut above the rest. However, in terms of just regular old beer, nowadays I certainly wouldn't just... Maybe when I was younger I'd go ahead and buy that to drink just because. But there's other, there's plenty of other beers. Like I would much rather get like a thing of Citradelic now and just sit at home and drink that mm-hmm. except, than this. Except the lime Citradelic, which... We don't have... I don't think we're even going to bother to do... No. Because... It's uh, not worth it. It's not good. It sucks ass. It's awful. Now, however... At least... At least for me... When I am out and about, this is... This is my go-to beer. I will drink this on a regular basis. Oh, you know what's another good go-to that almost everybody has? Is the uh, Good People Brown. It's a lot better than this beer. The thing is... The thing is, that's in a can. We can't review it. Yeah. Otherwise, yes. But that's true. I'm gonna say this beer doesn't suck on that note. But in terms of just regular old beer, eh, it sucks. What's your yeah? What's your my official review? Official. My, my official verdict is sucks. But okay, because I was going to accuse you of being intellectually dishonest. No. Okay. No. I was gonna because in terms of in terms of the in terms of the what we're doing for this show and the standards that we're holding to, this beer does in fact suck, but... It, it sucks, sucks but, but... Yeah. Exactly. It definitely does, John. It does suck, It's but. awful. Yeah. It's horrifyingly bad. But it could be worse. Sucks. Definitely could be worse. It's better than Rolling Rock. Oh, yes, God. it is. It's better <laughs> Bex. It's better than Bex. Mm-hmm. It's better than Blue Moon. Moon. Mm-hmm. So, so far, this is the best bad beer we've done on the show. This is probably the best bad beer in America. Which is... I just had to guess. I don't yeah. know. We'll see. Yeah. We've got more oh bad God, beers. We do awesome. have more bad beers. You know what's going to be funny is we'll probably eventually find a gym where it's like, this is surprisingly drinkable. Yeah. I mean, it's bound to happen, right? <laughs> yeah. Probably. That's sort of the point of this in some aspects. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. There you go. We can get 40s of that and, you know. Oh, 40s. But... Not around here, though. No, we'll have to go out of state to get those. 
lose. But I'm going to disagree with John and say, if my options, if I were out and about at a show or something, were this or Budweiser or Miller or, or Michelob or PBR, I wouldn't drink beer. I just wouldn't have it. I'd have a Coca-Cola. Neither would I, because a lot of these like bottom of the barrel beers like this, there's a certain taste to them. I don't know if it's like corn syrup or what's going on with them. I know that shit's going to give me a headache. I know it's going to make my legs hurt. Mm. I, I'm not alone on that one. Yeah. Like some people, like some preservatives in beer or some shit, I don't know, makes people's legs hurt. I mean, like as if you had done something, you know, like, you know, climbed two stairs the day before or something, you know, let's be realistic here, you know, like sore. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that, that, and headaches and stuff like that. I'm, I'm bad about getting headaches from like really shitty beer. So yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. It sucks. It sucks. All right, beer number the third one. Funky Buddha Hop Gun IPA. If you're looking for hops, we've got your tail. Hop Gun IPA delivers a payload of good old American hops straight to your palate, bursting forth with the flavors of grapefruit and pineapple. Mm. A careful dose of smooth caramel malt swoop in to balance out the finish, just like any good wingman should. <laughs> and the label reads, meet your new wingman. <laughs> I do like the label on that. That's pretty well done for those. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll wait till you finish pouring. Yeah. It... <sighs> Look at you wrestling your papers. Ooh. That is nice and deep colored. This... Hopefully, this is one of those... That's very pretty for an IPA. I know. I'm, I'm hoping this is one of those IPAs that has a little bit more malt to them to have that nice balance. Yes, because I love it when they do that. So, yeah, the label. We have... An F-14. Or a couple of them shooting hot missiles. Isn't that nifty? I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to go ahead and do it up here. Um, In vain. All right. That smells really good. It smells honeyed. Yeah, a little bit. Hoppy, of course. Definitely hoppy, like unmistakable. Like uh, the grapefruity sort of. Yeah, the citrusy hops. There's definitely some fruit roll up in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's. <laughs> what kind of fruit roll up? Uh, strawberry. What? Yeah. Strawberry. Yeah. strawberry. Uh, yeah. You know what the bad thing is with fruit roll up? The way that it was just having them as a kid, when he said what flavor, I went red in my head. That's what I was going to say. Yes. Red. That would have been that, that would have been an acceptable answer. Acceptable because, answer. Because I know exactly flavor. what you're talking about. Red. Oh, that for an IPA that's very sweet. Don't like the hops, but it's got a pretty big malt to it. It does, and the hops are not that's terribly bitter. No, they're, they're not. They're more aromatic. Yeah. Less bitter, more um, like just big and flavorful. The sweetness, though. I wonder why that is. Is there anything to indicate? Well, it may just be because of how much malt they put in this. And let me see. What's the percentage? 7% alcohol. Hmm. Um, I mean, that. that's just like leftover sugars if they were just targeting that Hot percentage. Targeting. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a very sweet beer. Yeah. It is, but it works for it, especially with the citrusy flavor. It's got a little bit of that, that pine you know thing, what? but not too the much. The sweetness is burnt marshmallow sweetness. Mm. I don't know if I agree about burnt no. marshmallow, but I can see what you mean as far as like a, a carbonized sort of thing going. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I can't quite peg what it is, There's, but it's there, nice. There are elements of this that remind me of that Two Brothers yeah. Imperial Red. Ooh, this has decent That was a good beer. It. Does it? It does. I'm normally pretty sensitive to that, but... I don't know about the diesel hops. Mm -hmm. Amarillo. It has the diesel hops. I'll have to look that up and see if this has Amarillo in it. Oh, this is very good. I think a couple of them can do that, too. I think um, uh, Mosaic also gives a little bit of that diesel thing, but it's not as strong. Yeah. But it, I like this. This is good smelling, good tasting. It's, it's medium... 
like on the well, thicker side of medium bodied. Yeah. And they did manage to get that nice balance of malt and hops. Yeah. No, I think mm. it's pretty hoppy. It is hoppy, but well, it's, okay. it's well, very it's, malty. It's it's and malty it's not, enough to where it balances it. And it's not very bitter. It's much, much more aromatic than bitter. Yeah. Okay. I mean, compared to other IPAs, compared to Harpoon IPA, compared to... Oh, it's 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 an assault on my senses that I don't like. Really? <laughs> In that way that only hops can do. Yeah. I, I, I think this is very good. Mm. Yeah. I would definitely get this again. Um, but it is so sweet that it would be a... I would definitely have to be in the mood for it. Yeah. No, there's other... There's other beers that I would sort of go to before that, you know what I mean, in that way? Yeah, because, um, you know, I think that a lot of people are really grossed out by sweet beers, and we're not. No. But... I <laughs> bulk <laughs> again. Um, but even even being somebody who does tend to be okay with sweet beers, this I would have to be in the mood. Definitely I'd have to be... Normal. Suicidal. Turn, I'd have to be turned on. <laughs> yeah. Like sexually. Yeah. No, I know that. Yeah. No. Not like electronically. No. Mm. Well, I guess you could achieve that I, Through that. Right. Right. We should start another YouTube channel. It's also a little bit earthy, too. I think that's what's reminding me of the two brothers. I think that's yeah, probably the dog shit. Is it the dog shit? I think it's the dog or shit. Or is it the dog farts? <laughs> <laughs> this, this beer is way above calorie. Hey, and you know what? Even, <laughs> even the Yingling beer. did not have It didn't dog have farts. the dark farts. No. So I was happy that we had a commoner beer that wasn't dog farty. That may not be the case for long, though. We may have several dog fart <laughs> beers in the future. But yeah, uh, Funky Buddha, Hop Gun. That Heard sucks. It. Does not suck. Doesn't suck. I have to represent the uh, hop hating people. It sucks. If the hops. Wow. Just, mm-hmm. Okay. It, it, it could be a really good beer, and I can tell. But mm-mm. now I think that's interesting because because we've we've had a couple of IPAs in this vein that mm-hmm. you liked that you liked, but, like but then you don't one. like this one. It has a very long lingering awful bitterness, and I can smell the diesel hops mm. on the finish that lasts for a long time. Oh, and that's another thing. Like the more diesel-y type mm-hmm. hops, like um, uh, Amarillo and Mosaic, I tend to like those. Mm-hmm. Um, but to me, the finish is, I agree, it's very long, but to me it tastes like grapefruit rind. No, nothing I that like pleasant. It. <laughs> I have had various vehicle fluids in my mouth before. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's Such as? Transmission fluid, uh, coolant. Well, uh, what, what out of those was your favorite? Coolant, oh, coolant was definitely my favorite. Oh, yeah, coolant. It tastes like fucking like strawberry daiquiri mix. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have to go, no, don't swallow that. Yeah. <laughs> why, why were you pulling that radiator hose off? Why didn't you drain it out first, and why is your mouth open? <laughs> um, I'm def- just trying to siphon it off. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a bad one you don't you don't want in your mouth is brake fluid. Yeah. 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 Actually, I've never had brake fluid in my mouth. As hygroscopic as that is, it might give you some kind of chemical burns or something. I don't, I don't know. No, that didn't give me chemical burns. You know, but I'm one of those But I didn't asses. have much, and it wasn't for long. <laughs> but Next I'm one time of, on your vehicle fluid sucks. Vehicle fluid sucks. <laughs> but see, I'm a, I'm a dumbass. Like, I didn't, I, didn't <laughs> yes, start, I didn't start wearing eye protection until after that first time I was opening up a fuel rail that I thought was, you know, uh, drained and got sprayed directly in the eyes with oh. gasoline. Oof. That's that's what prompted me to start yeah. using eye protection. That's yeah. how fucking stupid. So the I t- am. The, the time that you guys were working under the hood on my car and the I oil went every, I never and, I didn't taste it. It didn't and, go in my mouth. Yeah, and I t- I turned a key and oil shot everywhere. Right. That didn't make you go. Well, I should wear eye protection. No, it didn't. No, no. It was the gasoline. Interesting. And it was a geyser. I mean, like it yeah. emptied the all of the oil from the engine that we had just poured in. And then coated the entire parking lot. Well done. That was amazing. Yeah, remember on a 2.5 K car, kids, one of the, I believe it's an air conditioner compressor bolt for the bracket 
One of those is a test port for oil. Yeah. And you, you, you got to put it in there. And if you have your accessories <laughs> off and you crank the motor, <laughs> you end up with a geyser that hits, hits the hood and just shoots Every fucking wear. Yeah, good oil pump though, and uh, <laughs> it was wearing clearances <laughs> off this thing. But wiring, the best and... thing was, they're like, "Okay, start it, turn it on, turn it off, turn it <laughs> off." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess that's our episode. Yeah, tune in next week, and uh, just remember that life is too short to be caught drinking shitty beer. It is. Word. <laughs>